Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how the data step processes, during the compilation and the execution phase. This topic is based on Chapter 3, in Handbook of SAS Data Step Programming Book. In this book, Chapter 3 to Chapter 6 are the core components. I recommend that you follow the videos from these four chapters sequentially. A common problem often facing beginning SAS programmers is that, the SAS data set that they create, is not what they intended to create. For example, there are more or fewer observations than intended, or the value of the newly created variable is not retained correctly. These types of mistakes occur, because new programmers often focus exclusively on language syntax, but fail to understand how the data step works. A data step is processed sequentially via the compilation and execution phases. In the compilation phase, each statement is scanned for syntax errors. If an error is found, SAS will stop processing. The execution phase only begins after the compilation phase ends. In the execution phase, the data step works like a loop, repetitively executing statements to read data values and create observations one at a time. Each loop is called an iteration. We can refer to this type of loop as the implicit loop, which is different from the explicit loop, by using iterative do, do while, or do until statements. The SAS statements in the data step, can be categorized as executable or declarative. The declarative statements are used to provide information to SAS, and only take effect during the compilation phase. The declarative statements, such as the length, format, label, and drop statements, can be placed in any order, within the data step. On the other hand, the order in which executable statements appear in the data step, matters greatly. Program 3.1 illustrates how data step processing works. This program reads raw data from a text file, and creates one variable, BMI. The raw text file contains two observations, and three variables. Notice that the weight variable for the first observation, is entered as 12D, which is a data entry error. Each variable in the text file is occupied in a fixed field, and the values for these variables are standard character, or numerical values. Therefore, we can use the column input method, to read this data set. Program 3.1 starts with the infile statement, followed by the input statement. The infile statement is used to identify the location of the external file, and the input statement instructs SAS, how to read each observation. Thus, we must place the infile statement before the input statement, because SAS needs to know, where to find the external file before it can read it. After that, we can calculate the BMI variable, by using the assignment statement. The data step starts with the compilation phase. Since we are reading a raw data file, the input buffer is created at the beginning of the compilation phase. The input buffer is used to hold raw data. However, if you read in a SAS data set, the input buffer will not be created. SAS also creates the program data vector, or PDV, in the compilation phase. PDV is a memory area on your computer, and SAS uses PDV to build the new data set, one observation at a time. Within the PDV, there are two automatic variables, underscore and underscore, and underscore error underscore. Underscore and underscore equaling 1 indicates the first observation is being processed. Underscore and underscore equaling 2 indicates the second observation is being processed, and so on. The automatic variable, underscore error underscore, is an indicator variable with values of 1, or 0. Underscore error underscore equaling 1, signals the data error of the currently processed observation, such as reading the data, with an incorrect data type. During the compilation phase, SAS scans each statement. When it starts to scan the input statement, which is reading the name, height, and weight variables, SAS allocates one space, for each of these variables in the PDV. When it scans the assignment statement, BMI is also added to the PDV. Some of the variables in the PDV, are marked with D, which stands for dropped, and others are marked with K, which stands for kept. Only the variables marked with K, will be written to the output data set. Automatic variables are always marked with a D, so they are never written out. During the compilation phase, SAS checks for syntax errors, such as invalid variable names, options, punctuations, misspelled keywords, etc. 
SAS also identifies the type and length of the newly created variables. At the end of the compilation phase, the descriptor portion of the SAS dataset is created, which includes the dataset name, the number of observations, and the number, names, and attributes of variables. Once the compilation phase is completed, and if there are no syntax errors, SAS starts with the execution phase. At the beginning of the execution phase, the automatic variable, underscore and underscore, is initialized to 1. Underscore error underscore is initialized to 0, since there is no data error. The non-automatic variables are set to missing. Next, the in-file statement identifies the location of the input file. The input statement copies the first data line into the input buffer. At this point, the input pointer points the beginner of the input buffer. Then the input statement starts to read data values from the record in the input buffer, according to instructions from the input statement, and writes them to the PDV. The value for the name variable, which is specified from column 1 to 7, is copied to the name slot in the PDV. Then the input pointer points at column 8. Next, the SAS copies the values, from columns 9 to 10 from the input buffer, to the height slot in the PDV. Then the input pointer points to column 11. The value for weight variable, is entered as 12D which is an invalid numeric value. Therefore, the weight variable is set to missing value at the point. The underscore error underscore variable is set to 1 at this point. Meanwhile, an error message is sent to the SAS log, indicating the location of the data error. At the point, the input pointer points to column 15. Next, the assignment statement is executed, and BMI will remain missing since operations on a missing value will result in a missing value. When the output statement is executed, only the values from the PDV marked with K, are copied as a single observation, to the output SAS dataset. Now, the control reaches the end of the data step. There are two things that happen automatically at this point. First, SAS system returns to the beginning of the data step, to begin the next iteration. Secondly, the values of the variables in the PDV, are reset to missing. The automatic variable, underscore and underscore is incremented to 2, and underscore error underscore is set to 0. During the second iteration of the data step execution, the second data line is read into the input buffer, by the input statement. And the input statement correctly copies the contents, from the input buffer to the PDV. BMI is correctly calculated. The output statement copies the contents, from PDV to the output dataset. When SAS system reaches the end of the data step, there are two things happen automatically again. The SAS system again returns to the beginning of the data step. The underscore and underscore variable is incremented to 3, and the rest of the non-automatic variables are set to missing. SAS attempts to read an observation from the input data set, but it reaches the end of file marker, which means that, there are no more observations to read. When an end of file marker is encountered, SAS goes to the next data or proc step. In the previous program, an explicit output statement is used to tell SAS, to write the current observation from the PDV to a SAS data set immediately, at the point where you place the explicit output statement, but not at the end of the data step. If we remove the explicit output statement, every data step contains an implicit output at the end of the data step. The implicit output tells SAS to write observations to the output data set, at the end of the data step. If you place an explicit output statement in a data step, the explicit output statement, will override the implicit output statement. In other words, once an explicit output statement is used to write an observation, there is no longer an implicit output statement at the end of the data step. The SAS system adds an observation to the output data set, only when an explicit output statement is executed. Furthermore, more than one output statement in the data step can be used. Now, let's talk about the differences between reading a raw data set, and reading a SAS data set. 
remember that when we read the raw data, the data was transferred to the input buffer first, then transferred to the PDV. In the end, the data was copied from the PDV to the output data set. But when we read a SAS data set, by using the set statement, there will be no more input buffer. Data from the input data will be copied directly to the PDV, and then the contents from PDV will be copied to the output data. There are also other differences. When creating a SAS dataset based on a raw dataset, SAS initializes each variable value in the PDV to missing, at the beginning of each iteration of execution, except for the automatic variables, variables that are named in the retain statement, variables that are created by the sum statement, data elements in a temporary array, and variables created in the options of the file or in-file statement. But when SAS reads a SAS dataset via the set statement, SAS sets each variable to missing in the PDV, only before the first iteration of the execution. For variables that exist in both the input and output datasets, these variables will retain their values in the PDV, until they are replaced by the new values from the input dataset. For the newly created variables, that are not from the input dataset, SAS will set these newly created variables to missing in the PDV, at the beginning of every iteration of the execution. For example, suppose that we are reading the SAS dataset example 1. At the beginning of the data step execution phase, SAS sets each non-automatic variable to missing in the PDV. The set statement copies the first observation from the input data to the PDV. BMI is calculated. The output statement copies the contents from PDV to the output dataset. SAS reaches the end of the first iteration of the data step execution. Next, SAS returns to the beginning of the data step to begin the second iteration. At this point, underscore n underscore is incremented to 2. Variables that exist in both the input and output data, such as name, height, and weight, will retain their values in the PDV. The newly created variable, BMI, is set to missing at this point. The set statement copies the second observation to the PDV. As you can see the contents for the name, height, and weight variables, are replaced with the new values at this point. Then, BMI is calculated. This is a very important concept that we need to understand, before we can move further. In conclusion, only the newly created variables are set to missing at the beginning of each iteration of data step execution. Now, let's review what we've learned from this video. The most important concept that we learned is, understanding how data step processes, during the compilation, and execution phases. During the data step execution, SAS creates data one observation at a time via program data vector, or PDV. There are two automatic variables in the PDV. Underscore and underscore is used to indicate currently processed observation. Underscore error underscore is used to signal the data error. We also learn the use of the output statement. The output statements instruct SAS to output data immediately, when it executes. Lastly, we learned the differences between reading raw data, and a SAS data set. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to get new video updates.